Hi, I'm Rand uh, Whipple from Box of Light, and this is Jude. And we are in Cambridge Springs Elementary in the sixth grade residency, so I just want to take you through what we're doing. Um, first of all, what you're seeing up here is our green screen and our live screen. We show the kids what we're building in our video project. Our project is using stop action animation and film to look at, to support geography, math, and also social studies. We're working on South America. So what happens is the kids will, the ones who are working on social studies, will go research, um, they each, we have four groups, each has a location. They'll go research the Amazon rainforest or Rio de Janeiro or the Maya, Mayan temple or the Andes. Then, once they have that, they will come up here on our green screen. And they'll stand here and we will videotape them so they, um, We'll get their facts here on screen. Then we take it in and we composite it. And they will, so what they've done is here's a, it's kind of dim here with the light, but here is a rainforest they pulled off the internet. And down here we have the actual clips we've shot up on the green screen. So come on over here, it's a little easier to see over here. So if we just play this, you'll see here's their background image. And we're running through this. It'll show up in just a minute. And here we're getting to where the clips are of the kids. Here are the kids walking through the jungle, waving mosquitoes, looking for predatory animals. All right, so here are all the, scene, the scenes they've actually shot with the green screen. And then they go on the internet, they pull down their pictures, and we composite them. The kids are learning a little of the composition, not a lot just because of time. We like, we're starting to now get to where we can have little pockets of kids who can actually do this process. It's really not that complicated. All right, so they're also, we're also working with stop action animation. So let me take you back to the stop action center. So now this is a stop action setup, and this is set up for the geographers. The geographers research topography, anything that has to do with the land or the location. So what they've done here is they've gone online again, they've done their research, they've pulled up, um, these are temples, the Mayan temples, we've got the Mayan village, you've got jungle foliage in here, and now what they're doing, we've gridded this out, so you can see a little bit of the streets we're putting in. So here's the math. They'll have, they put the streets at certain angles. We'll take this, uh, the camera down and follow the angles of the streets. And um, what it's going to look like is this. And they're going to be stop acting. So it'll be like, basically. And we uh, were first thinking of doing this with clay. But we really liked the sort of photorealism we got with the, uh, the, the cutout pictures and we work to create a little bit of three-dimensionality to it. All right. So the kids have been building this, and once they have finished their stop action, then they will talk about the, the facts of this location, geographical facts. So that is the stop action. No, Mr. Sinicki and Ms. Burchard are our host teachers, and it's all going great with them. So what we're doing here is also working with stop action on a globe. We've worked with um, the, the Tropic of Cancer, Capricorn, the equator. We have the North and South whole Arctic circles and Antarctic circles, latitude and longitude. And so the kids have been defining those and stop actioning it. Let me show you how it looks like, what, what it looks like. And a little like this. And this is something Joe's going to actually be able to use in the future. We're going to pull this out as a separate little clip out of our movie that he can actually use to show kids next year. And a little of this is going to be out of sequence, but we're going to correct this. Okay, so there we have the latitudes. Or actually, we have equator, Tropic of Cancer, Capricorn, all that. And this is back where we started with the equator. All right. And this will end up in a movie, and then we will stick it onto an e-book as well, so it can exist on their iPads next year, too. All right? So now let's go back and let's go look at um, more of the geographer's work in Ms. Bertram's class. All right, I want to show you this, too. This is the Amazon, and every one of our geographer team is doing something a little bit differently. So here we have the Amazon, um, the, the rainforest with the Amazon. We have... Uh, a few animals that are being built in here. We've got the trees, lake, um, and then at, we also have our 
deforestation coming. Okay? So this will actually, as they stop action it, they'll deforest by replacing these with the little pine cone trees that have no tr leaves. And we'll, the mathematicians will talk about what percent of the Amazon has been deforested already. And let's go over here. Rio de Janeiro is great. And you see how they've really worked mathematically with their grid. And they have gone from Google Earth and have created a topographical map of Rio de Janeiro. And so they're, this is, they gridded it off once, they gridded it off a second time and are doing this. And this, um, they'll also be going through mathematically and talking about the different angles of the streets as they uh, get to their video. I think that's about it. Here's our costume shop. So the kids have been bringing in costumes. Ms. Vargo got jungle hats. They brought goggles from another teacher. The, the mathematicians wear lab coats and what we call googly glasses and are covered with numbers. We have in backpacks for explorers. And this is, uh, they dress in for their movies. Good.